I feel in my experience as an athlete is that your own self-awareness, you are your own coach. You're the only one who's out there with you every day that you paddle. And so your self-awareness and your self-coaching is so important. And so, you know, what that means is you've got to trust your experience. You know, you've got to go inwards into your own body and have that experience and, and believe it, you know, and, and, and as you evolve and your body changes, maybe you had an injury, maybe you went into the different sport for a little while, maybe your joint stability changed or your um, flexibility or mobility changed as you evolve, you know, keep returning back to the basics with that real attention to your own experience, because it is a practice, right? When we say, oh, I'm going to practice tonight, you know, we literally mean like, we're going to practice. There's no, you know, end point to the practice. It's just ongoing. It just keeps going and going and going. Practice, practice, practice. Um, and so, you know, I think it's super important to remember that the goal um, is not perfection. You know, uh, my paddling has certainly never been perfect and it never will be. And it would probably be pretty boring if it was. Um, and, but I can be very precise about how I go about my practice, which is where we came up with the name of precision paddling. And so the, you know, the approach is really about pay attention, pay attention. What your awareness is what shapes your experience. Your body has wisdom for you. Feeling your own muscles, feeling your own movements. That is the key to your self-coaching and your experience.